So I've added a little more spaghetti to the mix. I know I said that I would update how this thing was working now with more batteries uh, several days ago, but uh, <clears throat> weather did not cooperate with me. And on top of that, what turned out is that this thing, after it just keeps sucking the batteries down, which I knew it would happen. Uh, I just didn't click until I came out here and saw my my 48 volt bank at like uh, over here. This said 38 volts, which I still think it was funny because it said 38 volts over there. But what this was reading was uh, 48 and a half. So this meter was saying you know 48 volts off the batteries but it didn't match that so I don't trust the voltage that's displayed over here now what I have done though my extra meters came in and I added another relay and I have this set up it's only running off of the 24 volt side of this but what's happening is whenever half the battery bank gets up to 27.2 volts, it turns on just like I have my 24 volt bank set on. And then it runs until it's got, uh, got until it pulls it down to 24.2 volts. And you can see it's actually triggered on right now and we are moving 1,000 watts uh, across to the 24 volt bank. Now the the weird thing I think is it's still having a a hard time tracking it, but it's grab, grabbing the the voltage and current a lot easier with the bigger battery bank. I might go and get four more batteries and see if uh, see if that works any see if it works better. Uh, but as it is, I think that that's I think that it's working. watch it's it's running now it just cut off and now this is uh, something I do think is neat is like if this triggers on but these two relays aren't on then it doesn't it, it really has a hard time uh, pulling voltage which I think is is interesting because if those two relays aren't on then that means that my 24 volt bank hasn't you know been completely filled up it's not topped off but as soon as those relays come on which turns my inverters over here on then this thing grabs the current real fast and just starts pumping it over so just something i think is interesting i don't know if uh there's a reasonable explanation but said in the end that seems to be the solution is more batteries <laughs> I'm actually finding out that my answers to a lot of my problems are just adding more batteries so I will probably end up with a whole lot of batteries anyway and uh, I am doing this now I'm gonna get I got some more of these coolers coming but these things are same same as this one. I, I still have the fan for, for this one. But I got a hole. Probably can't see it. Hole cut in the board back here. The back side of this is about two inches of just empty space. I have all my leads coming off of my, uh, my shunts over here. They just loop around behind it. <clears throat> and I've got a little PC case fan going on here. And I think what I'm going to do is set up another one of these relays or, or controllers tied to another relay. Or actually, I might be able to run these fans just off of these things. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, one way or another, I'm going to power the fans. I'm probably going to set it up to where all the fans come on at one time. Uh, otherwise, I might look for some 24 volt or 48 volt fans to where I can just, they'll, they'll just come on whenever the controller comes on. Very low wattage. So, that's my plan there. I will update this all again very soon. I now have the, uh, 
The Healy has actually been running for a while now. I'll be able to track its output again. The I-1500, I've got the new slip ring is supposed to be delivered on Tuesday. That should be back up in the air very soon. So a uh, couple of little updates coming up. I'm going to try to tidy some things up here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.